Josh's day started with a not busy train. It was awesome. No one else on the train. How good. The boys met up at Mount Smart at 12.30 to see Mad Butcher's memorabilia lounge, which has Warriors memorabilia, Rugby League memorabilia, all sorts of sports memorabilia. We were there for around half an hour and absolutely enjoyed it. And we also got a photo with Sir Peter Leach, the Mad Butcher, which was epic, considering we have done a podcast with him recently and we got to have a chat with him about the Warriors. We saw the CEO, Cameron George, the owner, Mark Robinson, but seeing Pete, Sir Peter in action was awesome and we really thank him for inviting us to the tour. Connor and Liam then decide to give their predictions for the game and let's say they were good ones. What's up guys, we're here at Mount Smart for the Warriors homecoming. We're all very excited. What's your predictions, Liam? Oh, I don't know, it'll be a close game, but I reckon, you know, up the Tigers, but not many people are going to be very happy about that. Go the Tigers. <laughs> From there we moved to Lily World, a brand new restaurant slash garden bar at Mount Smart Stadium. The boys had a few beers, as you can see Josh is a bit drunk by now. We got to meet some celebrities like Ben Boyce from John and Ben, I think Di Henwood as well who used to do Family Feud and is a comedian in New Zealand, and Liam got to meet his childhood hero Ben Boyce, so that was really fun and there's the boys enjoying a beer as well, so it was an awesome time. Thanks to Lily World for hosting us, it was so much fun and definitely a highlight of the day. Hey guys, I'm here with a Warriors super fan, he's got his big thing out here. What's your score prediction for today's game? It's a big ask. Uh, I'm going to go with the 24-18 Warriors. Oh, you heard it here first, 24-18 Warriors, let's go. After a toilet break, which was much needed, and a few more beers bought and a few ciders for Liam, we sat down in our seats ready for a performance of a lifetime, the legend Dave Dobbin singing some songs before the start of the game, and let's just say it was a crowd pleaser. Welcome home. So hopefully we never become professional singers because that was not great, but even watching it now it gives me some joy and some smiles. So yeah, that's why we're rugby league podcasters, not singers, but great photo here showing that you can be from wherever. I'm from Wellington, they're from Auckland, and we're still getting to connect after so long. It was then time for the Warriors to go through that iconic Mount Smart Tunnel for the first time in 1,038 days, and it was Goosebumps. <laughs> may have not been that entertaining but as a Warriors fan it was awesome to finally get a win and to prove Liam and Connor wrong their prediction of the Tigers beating us at home it was so fun to finally have a win and actually experience a win in so long it felt awesome <laughs> What do you think of that try, Joshy? It might not be a try, but we're going 4-0. <laughs> Mr. Vitor! <laughs> 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 
match ended 22-2 to the Warriors, an historic win. Obviously, as you can see from most of the clips we did, it was a lot of drinking, it was still a lot of fun. Josh was a bit tense at the start of the game, but once, even as a Warriors fan, he was still a bit worried at the end of the game, but I think by the end of it, he was like, we've won this, have a few drinks, let's enjoy it as a group, and we actually had a lot of good laughs. The streakers, we we're going to try and get some pictures and videos of the streakers, but we didn't actually get enough time, but... Then we went to the after-party, sort of after-game thing, got to see some of the players, got some photos of some of the players, so here's a few photos of the boys. Hey guys, another Warriors win here. We've been kicked out of Mount Smart, but what are your guys' thoughts on the game? Yeah, wrapping it up. Warriors got the dub. It's a good win. Yeah, our predictions at the start kind of weren't that good, but you know what? Well done, the Warriors. Your homecoming game. It was, and it was awesome, good to see. Yeah, it was an awesome day. We met a few celebrities like Liam's bucket list right there, but we're going to wait for the players, but we're getting kicked out right now. So, head up or out. Great vlog. Head up out. Subscribe. Subscribe.